So everyone, that was Mohit Talk. Thanks everyone for listening. And um, see you soon. Subscribe to my Patreon. Psych! This is the send-off show where we are gonna take an hour just to say goodbye, explore all the possible alternatives for a good send-off, something that I have never had. Uh, so Lisa has been hard at work for uh, 10 days on writing a lot of send-offs and uh, I think she just give me all your ideas and I'm gonna like rate them out of 10 and uh, maybe uh, try to see if uh, we can work on them or if we, if we can pick a, a good one or a really bad one because this is the worst podcast on the internet Mojito episode 16 yeah, hopefully we can find the worst sign off on the internet great wouldn't that be awesome yeah that would be perfect I really hope you're impressed with all the effort that I've been putting in over the past 10 days just the fact that you have written some things down impresses me like <laughs> I was not expecting this level of commitment and professionalism. Uh, this is this is um, you're always already exceeding expectations just by the simple fact that you've uh, written uh, a few words down. Thank you. It, it's my it's my mission to 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 meet or exceed expectations in nice. everything that I do in this mm-hmm. world. Okay. Um. Okay. Do you remember The Price Is Right? Uh, um, Do you ever watch that game show? Not really, no. So Bob Barker, he was the host of this show, The Price is Right, where you try to guess what the price is of Mm -hmm. a lot of everyday items. Yeah, And he had had the most famous signed off I can think of, which we could steal if you're down for it. Sure. He would say something, uh, we'd say something like, this is the Mohi Talk crew reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite topical because of my rat problem that I've had recently. Uh, it's appropriate. Um, I like it. I like it. Uh, it, it reminds me of some, uh, something that I have thought about at some point where I would just remem- remind people to stay hydrated. Um, mm-hmm. I-, I tried it for a, for a while, on, I think on YouTube, but it didn't stick. Um, I wasn't really satisfied with it. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Have your pets spayed or neutered. It's a good idea. Okay, well, here here's a more um, controversial, radical version of, of that sign-off. We uh-huh. could say, this is the Mohia Talk crew reminding you, help control the world population, have yourself spayed or neutered. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little edgy, just the right amount. Uh, just something... And I am. I, I forgot to tell you earlier. I'm not a big fan of Mojito Crew. Uh, I okay. think um, Mojito Gang would sound better. Mojito Gang. Okay. So this is the Mojito Gang reminding you: help control the world population. Have yourself spayed or neutered. I like it. I like it. So it's a contender. Yeah. Like when when we have too many kids running around, you like end up tripping over them. They end up unparented. They they're ill behaved. They join gangs. They start throwing shoes over people's telephone lines, selling yeah. drugs. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there, there's more there's more kids around. I'm not I'm not saying that there's too many humans on Earth, but there's definitely more kids around than people care to take care of. You know, so I think that's a good message. I thought we were going to say there's more kids around than people. <laughs> this, is, this, is good, <laughs> this could have been a good one. Kids aren't fucking people. No, they're, Let's they're be like real. pre-human. Proto-human. Pre-humans. Yeah. Still, yeah, still cooking. Another version. Um, bye, everybody. Thanks for listening. Stay warm, stay cool, or stay room temperature. That's pretty good. This is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, stay hot, stay cool, or stay room temperature works better, in my opinion. Stay hot. Um, okay. Stay hot. I'll try that one. Stay cool. Or stay room temperature, uh, or okay. stay hot, stay cool, or stay lukewarm. Could be yeah, Ooh, uh, lukewarm. Could could be improved on, but I like the I like the idea. Stay hot, stay cool, or stay lukewarm. Yeah, it's not perfect. Um, I, I like the idea. I, I, in the end, we're gonna pick one and try to improve it uh, as much as we can. Yeah, I'm gonna let you give me. I don't know how many you have prepared. <laughs> did you did you count? <laughs> Is there really it's a, a never it's a never ending list. Oh, we're gonna some. be we're gonna be here for a while. Great. <laughs> there's there's more where that came from, baby. Nice. Um okay. Uh if no one's told you yet today, and you can like insert meme statement here, like 
if no one's told you yet today, mango seeds are edible. <laughs> something like that. I understand that reference. <laughs> I googled that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are, they are. Indeed. Uh, yeah. If no one told you already, uh, Garfield hates Mondays. <laughs> Uh, that tickled me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry. That was like, that was an aggressive cackle. <laughs> like that. Because um, everybody's expecting you to say like, if no one's told you already today, I love you. You know? Um, yeah. And but... this, this one is really good because we can change it uh, at every episode. If no one's told mm-hmm. you already today. And uh, what, and it's like the Simpsons uh, couch gag or, you know, the, Bart Simpson, uh, what he writes on the blackboard. Mm-hmm. We can have a new one, uh, or you know, have a few that we roll, um, that we uh, you know rotation. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice, okay. and this is flexible, so uh, it would be pretty good. Um, okay, we got another contender then. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I, I know that you already like to tell people to stay hydrated. So one I came up with is, uh, thanks for listening. Please stay hydrated and stay blind to the haters. Um, don't like this one. Um, okay. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot like them all. (laughs) Fucking hate it. (laughs) I'm I'm the hater here. (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm a hater of this. Stay blind to the haters. (laughs) I guess. It's okay. Some of these you can, you know, that like I that's that's why I wrote enough. There's like some that you can just like take it, crumple it in a ball, throw it down to the ground, just like grind the heel of your boot into it and just like snuff it out. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. You know what we say in France, there's a famous quote uh is that without the liberty to blame, no compliment is truly flattering. Without the liberty to blame? No compliment is truly fr- flattering. Yeah, let's say if you th- if you think that everything is great, then your opinion doesn't matter because it's just you know what you or, or always say. Uh, to for your compliments to have a value, you need to let yourself criticize, and uh, you understand the the principle. If you if oh my god, yeah. No, do you do y'all use Yelp over there? Is it that popular in France? Excuse me, what? Yelp, the Yelp app for oh, oh, reviewing yeah, 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 places. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. it's pretty popular, yes. Yeah. This is why nobody respects my Yelp reviews because I don't want to give a review to a place if it's just mediocre or if it's bad because I feel sorry for them. So nobody respects my Yelp reviews because I only review places that I want to give five stars to. That's fair. That's fair. I understand that. I think it's important to rate, especially mediocre places, because Sometimes you just need that. You just need some place where you can eat just something fast, boring, cheap. You know, you, we we need McDonald's to truly appreciate the the five stars restaurants. Uh, and uh, it, it's also important, in my opinion, to rate the bad places to help people avoid them. And um, as long as you explain why, because. What is bad for you may not be bad for some someone else. So uh, as you, as long as you explain your um, your issues, the pros and cons of that place, no uh, rating is uh, is bad as long as it has reasons. You know. Yeah, the the public deserves a balanced perspective, and who am I to deny that? To them mm-hmm. by withholding my my opinions of what I find to be truly mediocre in this world. I think I need to work on that. Yep. Shit. Okay. Well, this has been eye opening so far. Nice. And we're only only a, a, a smidgen through this oh, endless really? list. Of <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Uh, we're more than a, sm- uh, a smidgen. I don't know. I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit, but I, I, say, I'm, I'm say, marking. Say them all. Huh? Say them all. Say them all. Yeah, don't I'm, I'm, say... I'm saying them all, but I'm 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 uh yeah, I'm marking which ones I've done already. So yeah, good. Cool. We're, we're good. I got a little, little my little notebook, my little colored pens and shit. It's like oh, this is very antique style, retro. Yeah. <laughs> oh gee. I, I didn't. <laughs> that, that's unexpected. Okay. Yeah. No. I I really like writing with my hands. I feel like there's. This is a superstition in me, but I feel like there's a more of a direct, like line between 
the juicy stuff in my brain and my physical hand. Like yeah. they, they talk to each other quicker than, than when I'm writing with my, um, my fingers, like a piano on the keyboard. I don't yeah, know. I get that. I get that. Mm-hmm. Personally, I, I'm so not used to it anymore that after writing one line w- with a pen, my, my hands start getting cramps and it's really, really hurts. So, uh, oh. if I have to, yeah, it's, uh, the, the writer's crump, uh, as it's called, uh, and oh, God. I, I get it like really, I cannot, uh, if I have to, to write a letter, I will have to take many breaks if I want to, uh, write the, a whole page because my hands, my hands, uh, my, my hand, right hand, because I'm a, r- r- um, I don't know, rightist, I don't know how you say, uh, but right, right hand. Rightist, <laughs> right. you're an alt, alt writer. <laughs> uh, right handed, yeah, that's the, the expression. Um, yeah, my, my, my hand uh, starts crumping like uh, after um, a line or two. So wow. Uh, that's, uh, th- that's why I, uh, I, I tried starting again like with notebooks and shit at some point, but um, I, I just couldn't because it was just too literally painful. Wow. It's pretty cool, actually. You're, you're like, you're, you are evolving into like the new human now. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You <laughs> can't even can't even write with your hands for more than a sentence. So I'm I'm kind of impressed by that. So next sign off. Thanks for being a part of Mohi Talk, where it's not a talk show; it's a lifestyle. Mm, not a fan. Not a fan. I know. I was quoting myself on that one. Oh, okay. You you remember that one? I said it's not a meme page; it's a lifestyle. Yes, of course, of course, of course. I, I remember it. I put it on a shirt and it's in the page description. I, I see it every yeah. day. I see it every day when I log <laughs> on to the page. I was feeling really self aggrandizing there, so I wanted to quote myself. Uh, I get it. I get it. Uh, that's our earload. Hope it was as good for you as it was for us. Yeah, this one is nice. By the way, did you ever come up with a word that you prefer for podcast other than podcast? Uh, well, I, I, I really liked earload. Actually, this probably be the one that I choose, uh, but mm-hmm. I, I still I really like talk show also. So mm-hmm. I'm hesitating between those two. You know, either repurpose a uh, pre-existing word that already works pretty well, like talk show, uh, or create something new like earload. Earload is it's, it's pretty good. Also, it's uh, it. That delegitimizes a little video podcast, which I never really liked and considered real podcasts. For me, a real mm-hmm. podcast is audio only. And mm-hmm. um, Earload is a pretty good contender. It's my favorite so far. I like Earload because it reminds us of the word download. Oh. And also because it's sexual. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the next one I borrowed from, uh, I stole, okay. next one I stole from a list of examples on Reddit when somebody was asking what people do in their sign-offs, and one one podcast said that at the end they just do wolf howls. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a good idea. We just, me, you, our, our guests, like our our co-hosts and stuff we all just start start going like oh, oh, oh. i like the idea but that may be a bit long i think if we find something that's shorter it reminds me actually of at some point on french tv there was this fake game show that was completely nonsensical and at the end, the, the, the host of the game asked the two participants to say a, a, a little word for the end. And they, each of them said like a, a little word, like one syllable, um, like literally a, a small word. And uh, mm-hmm. that, w- that was pretty good because it wasn't expected. It was funny and it was short. I think the, um, the wolf howl, not a great idea because long, if, you ca- if we can find something um, maybe shorter... Um, I, I, like I don't know. I'm thinking of like birds, frogs. I think this is a good moment for us to do our best animal impressions. Yeah, or worst, or um, or like we could just say the animal of the day, and we pick one animal. And uh, I like that. 
Um, I wanted to give you my my guinea pig sound. I think it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sound a little more like a, a marmot or a prairie dog, but uh, it's not it's not bad. <laughs> I, I hadn't I hadn't warmed up for that. Uh, this show is brought to you by the consent of Daryl Robinson. Who is that? That's uh, the Daryl, the original Daryl. Oh, yeah, Daryl Robinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that wasn't one of my favorite ones, but... it's uh, I like it. I like it quite you a like lot. like it? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. And, you know, we could, at every episode, change the operative word. Like, it mm-hmm. could be consent, it could be enlightenment, it could be fluids, it could be, you know, we could uh, change fluids, the Fluids, blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, light. The okay. light, the love and light. The power. <laughs> the, o- the, the ominous power. <laughs> this, uh, this episode was brought to you by the internet. Of Daryl Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that he invented Microsoft? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't actually Bill Gates. Bill Gates just stole all the credit, but it was Daryl Robinson's um, original personal computer and internet. Nice. Yep. Uh, Chad's listen to Mohi talk, so don't be a virgin and hit subscribe. That's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. When life gives you limes, have a mojito. Yeah, that's uh, that's also pretty good. I like this one a lot. Hail Satan. Yeah, n- not bad. Maybe not. Um, original enough i mean um, satan things kind of overplayed kind of yeah um I, I like the idea but it's good but it's not great we need something great pour one out for all the dead memes out there good this one is good i like it crack a cold one for the memes press f in the chat for the dead memes for the dead memes <laughs> yeah it's pretty good uh. this is really good i like it <laughs> Uh, please join us next time if you feel like it. Week. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. I've read all the ones that I wrote down. Do you have any? Uh, no. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, I, I was thinking of, like, improvising. Do you want me to review all the ones that you said you liked? Because I was making little notes as we went. Or may- Yeah. Okay. So, here's some of the, uh... The top ones. Help control the world population. Have yourself spayed or neutered. Uh, yeah. Stay hot. Stay cool. Oh, do you want me to pause after each one or just, or just read through all of them? No, no. Go, go on. Okay. Stay hot. Stay cool. Or stay lukewarm. Yeah, this one's really good. I really like it. If no one's told you already today, insert meme here. <laughs> Uh, that's our earload. Hope it was as good for you as it was for us. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to pass on this one. Uh, once again, it's, earload. It, yeah, it's good. I, I like the word earload. Um, mm-hmm. hope it was as good for you as it was for us. Not a fan of it. I think it's a, mm-hmm. I think it's a weak formulation. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to pass on this one. Okay. Uh, this show is brought to you by the fluids of Daryl Robinson. Yeah, this one is um, really nice. It's really okay. easy, it's specific, it's topical, it's... Uh, helps unite you unite you with our community, the listener. Helps draw them into the Daryl yeah. family. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Chad's listen to Mohi Talk, so don't be a virgin and hit subscribe. I like it, but not as much as the other ones, so I'm, I'm going to pass on this one too. It's a little bit predictable. We can we can roll it out. That's fine. Uh, when life gives you limes, have a mojito. It's yeah. It's I like it. It's maybe a little formulaic. I don't want to discard it altogether. Maybe maybe we could put it at the bottom of the pile. So crack a cold one for all the dead memes out there. Yeah, yeah. Impressive. We could once again uh, keep the 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 last part and uh, change the the operative. Um, like uh, press F in the chat for all the, um, the dead memes out there. Crack about mm-hmm. a cold one for the dead memes out there. Go uh, out at night and yell at the moon for all the dead memes out there. Okay. Um, yeah. 
Uh, you know what? Hail, hail Satan for all the dead memes out there. So yeah. we can do that one time. Yeah. So we basically have six contenders at this point from the original list of infinite. Um, so it's the stay hot, stay cool or stay lukewarm. If no one's told you already today, blank fact, uh, the show is brought to you by the something of Daryl Robinson. When yeah. life gives you limes, have a mojito massage that or something, make that snappier, yeah. do something for all the dead memes out there. Yeah. And help control the world population. Have yourself spayed or neutered. The the best is uh, if no one told you today, and uh, insert a random thing, and have a word at the end that wouldn't change. Like uh, I don't know, see ya or peace or uh, or maybe something funnier or uh, a little more expected. But uh, I think that it would be much better if we have the same start an end of the sentence and we would have something different that would be contained inside in terms of commu communication and um, memology it would work mm -hmm. better if there was like a like a shell uh, that would contain the mm. the fluctuating element so you like the idea of doing a fluctuating one this one yeah 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 and this one is probably the one that would work the best Especially since I, I said a, a random example earlier and you really laughed. Um, that was uh, probably the best of all um, feedback possible. Mm -hmm. That's yep. it's a sign that it works. <laughs> Garfield hates Mondays. Yeah. That was yeah, good. Yeah. So a good uh, moment for me. May, maybe, maybe tweak it a little, like um, just in case you forgot, um, you know. Um, Around. Yeah, if, if no one told you, yeah, if no one told you, today. if no one's told you already today, somebody. <clears throat> um, <laughs> um, so no one told you life was going to be this way. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, if no one, I'm just counting the beats. Um, in in case no one told you already today, in case. No one told you. Yeah, it's better if we had some kind of walking rhythm with the binary. Uh, if we, you cut out a little bit on me, what did you just say? Um, I was thinking about the rhythm of the sentence, yeah. and we, mm. if we have like a kind of a walking thing, because if doesn't work, because it just if uh, I think we should mm. uh, change it by like in case, because it's two syllables. Oh, uh, it's, it's more like a walking yeah. rhythm. In case no one in case told no you one's told you today. today. Um, you know, it, it, it gives like a, a binary rhythm that's uh, more, uh, the flow is better. Um, in case no one told you today, ha, uh, we would need another two syllable word for, uh, that would be um, six, which is good because it's uh, three and two. So it would be like a really good flow and really good rhythm. Um, you originally said, in case no one's told you already today, is, but that's three syllables. Yeah. Already is too long. Um, yet is too short. And mm -hmm. so, just, mm -hmm. so just in case no one told you today. Just in case no one's told you today. So just, we have the two syllables. So just in case, in case no, no one's, one's told, told you today. You today. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean... Mm. It's um, it's it's yeah, it's taking form. Um... Oh, or wait, in case no one's told you already, it would be, it would we really have a much better rhythm if we could uh, do eight. Um, in case no one told you today, or in case no one's told you already. Mm. I, I like the I like the today, or maybe we could okay. replace by this week. Or um, mm, okay. I don't. I don't know. Um, today's yeah. Today's today makes sense. Today makes sense. It really does. Mm -hmm. um, I like the um, friendly reminder. You know, friendly reminder. Friendly, uh, friendly reminder of the day. I think it, it works a little better, even if the rhythm it is not perfect. Um, okay. I, I like the idea that we remind the person of something they already know um, mm -hmm. 
not just like revelation. Uh, I mean, it, 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 the, the idea in case no one told you today, uh, you know, it implies that it's something that is told regularly. So it also works. But Which is, I, I like that because it reminds me of this stupid, in case no one's told you already today, I love you. Like, <laughs> people should, like, it's kind of, you know, yeah, it's, it's, a, it. it's a thing I hear a lot. I don't, it's, I, I think it's kind of dumb that people do. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I totally get it. I, I totally get that. Um, friendly reminder is also something that is used uh, quite often. Word to the wise. Yeah. I mean, we, we have the, we have the, the, the idea. We have the idea. We can perfect it. We can tweak it. We can uh, make it better. But the idea is, is there. It would be nice to have like um, a send off to the send off. Just a just a final word, maybe one or two syllables, just to um, you know, just like I think it, it really works in terms of rhythm, in terms of um, flow. To have just one little word at the end of the sentence, like um, peace, you know, or uh, see ya, or uh, you know. Don't forget to go back. Don't forget to <laughs> obliterate the like button, motherfucker. <laughs> we can uh, we can go back to um, stay lukewarm. It's like the opposite of something hardcore, but we can say it in the most hardcore way possible. I like. I really like cognitive dissonance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay hot. Stay cool. Stay lukewarm. Or just or just take that last one. Stay lukewarm. Yeah. Stay hot or stay cool, but stay hydrated. Stay hot. Be hot or be cool, but be refreshing. <laughs> Get spicy. Yeah, spicy is good. Stay sassy. Stay classy. No, this one is is like even ironically, it's bad. Um, I, <laughs> I, I get it, but but no. Um, <laughs> Be spicy or be sweet, but don't be sour. Uh, maybe I don't know. Mm-hmm. Be sweet or be spicy, but don't uh, don't be bitter. Um, don't be bitter. Don't be astringent. <laughs> sounds like sounds like don't be a stranger. That's that <laughs> one is good. I like it. That's a great, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good uh, path to explore. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty satisfying. Um, <laughs> be be satisfying. Uh, be satisfying. Don't forget to exceed expectations. Be excellent to one another. Uh, I already listened to a, a few podcasts that already have this send off. It's it's good to um, take inspiration from others, but I would prefer if we had something specific. I don't I don't really want to have the most unique thing uh, possible, but I would I would prefer if it was a little bit more special than just. Be excellent to each other because I've I've heard it in a in a bunch of podcasts already as a send off. Yeah, I I I, I uh, heard that one in the the game show QI from the BBC. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that's they, where I know that one from. They have a they have a uh, you mean the 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 show or the ear load. Uh, does he has an earload? No, I yeah, I saw it yeah. in the show. I wasn't aware of the earload. Um, That's pretty good. It's uh, it's called No Such Thing as a Fish. No such thing as a fish. Yeah, that's the that's the name. Why is why are, why is fish such an avant garde symbol? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not. Um, the this name is a reference to um, a biologist. That uh, you know, after the, all the breakthroughs by Darwin and um, um, you know all these guys, uh, these uh, these men uh, worked a lot on the classification of the animals, you know, uh, the reptiles, birds, and uh, all that. And um, he st- he especially studied marine biology, and um, after ha- having studied fish. For a really long time, he um, came to the conclusion that all the species that we call fish are actually quite different to each other, and there's not enough cohesion and similarities between all the fish 
for the name fish to make sense. In his opinion, there is no such thing as a fish. Oh.、Uh, he thought it was a term that was too generic and、uh, that was used for too many species that was not that were not similar enough to each other. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it just、so. seems like with your with your the name of your page having formal the the、yeah. page formerly known as Exploding Fish. And、uh, you know this thing about fish. It's like whenever whenever people talk about fish, you suddenly get drawn into this, you know, realm of expecting the unexpected. Like, whoa, talking about fish, it must be getting weird here. You know. Yeah, but that's one of the reasons、uh, why I quit the old name because、uh, it's a little too it's a little too often used. Uh, I've seen it on a lot of memes, and there's a lot of meme pages with、uh, fish in the name, and、uh, that was not the main reason. But、uh, and also, I I, I don't want to like、uh, do su- such a callback because、uh, it will be an invitation for all the people who are like, yeah, will you change your name back? And you try to get you back to the past and go backwards instead of forwards,、uh, which、mm-hmm. is really irritating、uh, in my opinion, and I really don't like that. So,、um, mm-hmm. yeah, I thought I I I noticed that you changed it after I'd taken a bit of a Facebook break, and I was like, oh, he's just trying to unify his brand across all of his array of platforms, so people the, know when、yeah. they search for Chad Mojito, they can find all of your、uh, stuff or most of it. That was the main reason, clear, yeah. clearly. Yeah, that yeah. and the fact that there were already several companies. And trademarks named "Exploding Fish." There was a, a theater company. There was、oh. um, uh, a, a radio station. I think. I mean, it was not、um, original enough. There was already a bunch of、um, things that were named "Exploding Fish." So、uh, I wanted something that was more unique. So、uh, if people like、uh, Google it or search it somewhere, there's no,、uh, you know, they know that it's me and not.、Um, You know, you know what I mean, and there's no, you know, it could, because、uh, some of, because of some of those things were like more or less related to show business and entertainment. There could be like、um, trademark issues and、um, you know legal、uh, tensions. So I wanted to avoid all that for obvious reasons. Yeah, you 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 can retain the mark of the Chad Mojito, and this this thing is ready to go all the way, you、yeah. know, to the top and take over the world now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's、um, the me- the take over the meme sphere at least. Yeah, it was a.、Uh, it was not done on a whim. It was done after months of you know reflection and、um, drafts and、uh, a lot of、um, trial and error to find the right name. And、um, you know, it was quite a lot of work actually. Yeah. Well, I I appreciate the. Scholarly insight that you're bringing to this process, like counting out the beats and knowing the principle of how to start and end a sentence. I think that with your perspective applied to this process, we could have a phrase that says "ubiquitous" as as the word "podcast," which we're even trying to kill to this day,、yeah. long after the death of the device. So,、um, you know, just.、Mm-hmm. It's it's cool that you feel the stuff out so deeply.、Mm. Well, I wouldn't say that I really feel it. It's more um more reflection and um, but um yeah, I, I think about it a lot, and、yeah. um, I make mental drafts. And、uh, there's a lot of trial and error happening in my brain at all times, and I、uh, I, I'm trying to get the right thing because、um, that kind of Thing will stay. It's not like a conversation where I don't really think about what I'm saying. This is like a like a name or a logo. This could make or break your brand. I'm not really, but you know, it, it's a big part of it. You know, it's、uh, it's the most important thing.、Uh, it's it's communication. How you name yourself, how you your logo, your、uh, all that, and of course the send off is a part of it. Like Bob Barker and that "spay or you neuter your pets" thing—that's that's infamous. That's gonna that's gonna last for generations and generations. People are gonna be thinking about that send off. I mean, the most important is that we use it. We find something that we are comfortable and we enjoy using,、um, you know, several times,、um, and、um, 
I mean, when I say several, I mean a bunch of times. Because um, <laughs> um, a lot in the past, I didn't give enough thought to uh, those kind of things. And so I never ended up with something that I really liked. And uh, what happened is that I changed that kind of thing all the time. But mm-hmm. that's not good. You need something that lasts um, at mm-hmm. least for a little while, you know, because because that's the that's the the meme, that's the meme. If um, mm-hmm. if the the better the meme is, the longer it's going to be uh, used and passed around, and um, the more fun it will be. Um, so uh, you need something that is good and fun, but it's going to keep being good and fun for a long time, like maybe years. So, like, uh, like Doge or like rock and roll, like these things will never truly die. Yeah, or they will take a long time. I mean, everything dies. Yeah. yeah but, you know. Not so, in our lifetime. Maybe. Our great grandkids will be making Doge memes. I, I guarantee that now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Wait, except I'm getting spayed and neutered, so I don't have to worry about making grandkids, so. But if uh, my hypo- my hypothetical grandkids will probably still be making go- Doge memes, even if spayed or neutered, uh, adoption is already uh, is always a thing. Yeah, so my my adopted my adopted great great grandkids can uh, still be making Doge memes because of the the structural integrity of that meme and how it can fade out and be reborn again and again and again. Seven would be nice. It's a good. Um... It's a good rhythm. Seven syllables? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Count those syllables, Chad. Count those syllables. I always, I always do. It's important. I mean, I always do. Fucking, fucking cool as fuck. <laughs> I think maybe it would be better to say something like, and the wisdom of the day is... Mm, okay. Wisdom of the day. Yeah. You're... Oh, you remember, um, did you ever watch The Daily Show, but when it was good with Jon Stewart? Nope. Oh, man, they, uh, they would always end it with, and here's your moment of zen, and they'd cut to some clip from the news of people doing shit on uh, one of the 24 hours news stations that made no sense. It was pretty good, because like, when, when things become nonsensical, they become zen, and uh, just kind of leave you to a moment of mental blankness. It sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> well, no, we wouldn't have to actually cut to anything, but, you know, wisdom of the day. It reminded me of Jon Stewart's moment of zen at the end of The Daily Show. We could just say, and now is a minute of silence for all the dead memes, and we insert a minute of silence. <laughs> and say bye. <laughs> Have that, a minute of silence. That's a fun idea, but it's it's uh, it's too long, of course. But it's uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I re- I li- I really love honoring the dead memes. I wish there was a way to to do something to honor it, uh, the dead memes and have uh, wisdom of the day. Uh, no, I I don't. I think that would be too much. I think we should probably select just one. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe maybe in the middle of the show we can have the minute of silence. It would be kind of kind of like an, an entracte. An entracte? What's yeah. The, what's that? Uh, I, I thought non it was sequitur? The, No, I thought it was the same word in English, but apparently it's not. Non non sequitur? Is that what you mean? Like not doesn't follow anything? Uh, no. Oh, it's it's the same word in English. Non 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 non. Well, we don't make that sound. So non non tract non tract. Um. What would what, what we say? <laughs> Just checking in the dictionary. Um, halftime show intermission. Intermission? Halftime show intermission. It's uh, The word is the same in English. Halftime show? I would just say intermission. So, yeah, our, our show intermission is a, a moment of silence for the dead memes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Should we honor like a specific dead meme? That would be kind of neat. That's what I was thinking, but I'm afraid that it would be a little maybe hard to pick one, and that maybe not enough listeners would get it. 
because mm-hmm. memes are always, you know, um, kind of like echo chambers, a lot of them. Um, so, some stay in some circles and um, will be... Uh, and usually the, the ones that get the most widespread are not the best ones. They're, they're already dead and nobody knows it yet. Yeah. 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 And, we, uh, we could... We could if we you know honored what? a recently dead meme, people would be like, wait, that means dead? I just found out about it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Which would kind of be funny. Um, yeah, I guess. But it could uh, it could also pass as pretentious and maybe a little condescending. So, it's totally uh, pretentious. It's what makes it great. Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't take yeah. me Don't take me seriously when I say stuff like that. Maybe we could say that about a, a a product that we love that is dead. A dead product? Yeah, like mm. uh, one that really comes to mind for me is Coca Cola Black. It was mm. that was a great beverage from uh, ten years ago, but it, it died. Yeah. Um, of course, it, it wouldn't have to be a minute of silence because that that can. Um, I know that when you have long intervals of silence, that can cause issues with some. Uh, uh, a podcast apps or um, or servers. We could we could we could do a much shorter interval of silence. Or we could play a song. Yeah. Or you know make a song. Yeah, like just uh, do do like gentle piano music. Yeah. Let's have, look. We could just say like let's let's take a moment to remember all the memes that have died this week. And just like da 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 And then we could ask our guests like which memes do you feel like are dead right now and it's just their opinion and it's not the official opinion of the show. That's pretty good. That's a good interaction um thing that that that's uh that requires less preparation and um less debate. That's uh, yeah. that's pretty that's pretty good. Yeah. But I'm not sure that we should restrict it to memes. That could get old. Um, maybe sure. We could yeah. Just say yeah, a, a dead thing, wh- whatever it is. All um, the trends that have died this week, and we could just like open it up that wide. So what, whoever we're talking to, whatever we're covering. Yeah. Yeah, or the you know, minute of silence for the dinosaurs. <laughs> moment, moment of silence for the Roman Empire. Yeah, that's good. For oh, the man. yeah, for the woolly woolly mammoth. Moment of silence for the concept of dignity. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, the 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 Harambe meme. Yeah. Long dead. Long dead and long gone. Yeah. So I have a minute of silence for Harambe. <laughs> or let's have a moment of silence for for the morning of the very morning of Harambe. Because it's like the very <laughs> the very morning of Harambe is dead to along with is is deader than Harambe is. So a minute of silence for Vine and all the Viners. See, there's a lot of things that we can mourn that have been dead for a long time. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be a long time, but let's have a minute of minute of silence for the word podcast. Yes. Um. Podcast is dead. It just died. It just died a few days ago when you posted that video about how a podcast is dead. Instead of a minute of silence, we could have like an obituary thing memento mori memento mori and uh you know it, it would be at the, at the middle of the show it would be kind of a an intermission refreshment mm-hmm. time um uh, mm-hmm. yeah and i i like saying moment rather than minute because then we're not restricted to actually breaking for a full 60 seconds of content we can just like play our play our mournful interlude music yeah and some kind of funeral march yeah and then and then come right back from that like we don't have to um leave our listeners really hanging and sitting in awkwardness you know wherever they are in the car on the bus 
walking down the street, wherever people listen to their earloads, we don't have to abandon them for too long. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the thing is that it could get old quite fast and we could like run out of things to mourn and then we'd have to pick things that we don't really give a shit about. So that's the, that's the trap. That's the, um, the thing that could make it uh, bad uh, in time. We need something that maybe is a little more resilient and a little more uh, sturdy and enduring to the passage of time. Um, I mean... Well, I don't know if you're ever going to run out of things that are dead that were cool at one point. Really? Yeah, I mean, have you... I don't know. Have you watched Jeopardy? No. The game show? No. Nope. Well, they go through trivia about a bunch of old stuff, and the show's been on the air for 30, 40 years. They never stop finding old facts to quiz people about. So, um, yeah, I, you know, there was, there was the Roman Empire, there was the Ottoman Empire, there was... Um, you know, Coca-Cola Black, there was Harambe, there was that yeah, that sure. boy. Um there's there's just like a lot of lot of things that have died. Like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things that have died that uh we we can miss and remember. But I don't need I, it might be it might be hard to do a full obituary for all of them, but we could, I mean, no, it, we it could can, have a moment for all of them. It can be improvised. Um yeah. but um and and if we if, if we're we're getting tired of it, we can just drop it. Well, it's not super original because uh, um, a, a few podcasts already do it. But ah oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, in that case, what? In that case, fuck. We can't do it if everybody else is doing it. Oh, okay. Or you, we can. I don't you, know. You didn't. Sorry, you didn't. I interrupted you. Yeah. <laughs> So um, it's not very original because a, a bunch of sh uh, shows already do it, but um, we could do a fake ad read. Like this, co this, po this podcast is brought to you by the concept of existential dread. Oh, yeah. Uh, it would be kind of related to things that we already talked about, maybe last time or something like that. I like and, that. Uh, in time, we could uh, include real ads if we get sponsors. Mm hmm. But um, yeah, it would be not too obstru too obtrusive. Yeah, it's it's been done, but not that much. And it's it's really cool idea. I think we could have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm I'm behind that. We, we Let's could, do it. We would call that refreshment time or something like that. Mm-hmm. The the um uh, um and and now a moment for a word from our sponsors. Yeah, something some some something like that could be uh. Nice and fun. Okay. So, yeah, somewhere in the middle we do fake advertisements. And uh, at the end, you want to do wisdom? Wisdom of the day? It's, um... Or something? Wisdom of the day could work. Um, fortune of the day. Like, fortune of the day? Ooh. Yeah, like a, like a fortune cookie, you know? Mm -hmm. Here's a little... Uh, Little something to activate your almonds. Your almonds? Yeah. Um. Are, do almonds need to be activated? Oh, you don't know about this meme. Tell me about it. Uh, well, there's a. Uh, basically, there's a um, one of these weird nutrition things that are completely bullshit. Had a lot of uh, fake nutritionists pass around. Uh, it's activated almonds. You're supposed, <laughs> you're supposed yeah. to uh, put them in water overnight, and that activates them. Mm -hmm. And um, there was uh, there was this guy. <laughs> Almonds activate. Exactly, and there was yeah. this guy really insufferable that um, he gave uh, you know kind of an interview to a magazine, uh, a bullshit magazine uh, like uh, uh, Women's Health or whatever, and um, he said uh, like uh, his meal plan, uh, what he eats in a day. And uh, in it, that was activated almonds, among <laughs> other things. And, uh, you know, uh, 4chan had a field day with this, and it became uh, a meme that is still used today. It's almost 10 years old now, but I still see it 
quite often uh, on mm. the internet, whether it's on Facebook or Reddit or uh, I'm, um, uh, I think it should be. Mm, yeah, there it is. It's uh, awesome. Pete Evans is the name of the scoundrel quack. Um, shit, what happened? My browser crashed. It's fine. Um, so, uh, Weight Watchers Ambassador. He's a Weight Watchers Ambassador? Apparently, yeah, and a chef. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know. So, 7 a.m., two glasses of alkalized water with apple cider vinegar. That's that's really funny, because if you alkalize water and then put vinegar in it, you have negated the alkalization, because vinegar is an acid. So, that's uh-huh. absurd. Already, <laughs> already, that's, already, the bullshit is uh, a top level, just the first thing. Mm-hmm. Two glasses of alkalized water with apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is really popular for all the the bullshit, uh, you know, fake medicine people. Uh, It has been Mm -hmm. tested extensively and it does absolutely jack shit. I I, I gotta say that I tried it out of curiosity and it does taste quite good. So that's the thing that you cannot uh, remove from it. But yeah, alkalized water, of course, it also... uh, Absolutely, there's a thing... Amongst um, you know this uh, these bullshit peddlers, uh-huh. that is like uh, you have to uh, your body uh, cannot be too acidic or too alkalized. You have to uh, yeah. to balance your pH. Uh, it's uh, it's so dumb. It's so mm-hmm. fucking dumb. If the pH of your body change, you die immediately. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. So, two glasses of alkalized water with apple cider vinegar, then a smoothie of blended alkalized water, or- <laughs> organic spirulina, activated almonds, <laughs> maca, blueberries, stevia, coconut kefir, and two organic free range eggs. So, you, it's already, it's like the, all the bullshit possible. It's like the, you know, all the Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, you know, all the bad things that I hate. It's it's yeah. ter- it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, and it goes on, of course, because that was only the first breakfast. Second. Oh, oh shit. Crashed again. What happened? What happened? I don't know. It's weird. Um, Firefox being. Uh, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know why. Sometimes. Being a feisty little Firefox. So second breakfast. Sprouted millet, sorghum, mm. chia, mm. chia and buckwheat bread with <sighs> liver pate. Mm. Wow. Um, shit, there's a nad now. Fuck off. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot read because there's, there's a nad. Know your meme. I don't know what, what's going on with your site, but it's not working. So I'm no, gonna... your meme. If you're out there, your site's fucked up. Yeah, it it it's it's crashed Firefox twice, and then there's an ad, and I cannot. Cl- and if I try to click on it to dismiss it, nothing happens. I've I've got it open. If you want me to, sure, help Please. help you with this. Okay, so eight thirty a.m. Bre- breakfast two. We're calling this yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, sprouted second millet. Breakfast, yeah. Second breakfast. Second breakfast. As the hobbits say, yep. uh, sprouted millet, sorghum, chia, and buckwheat bread. Sounds high in fiber. Mm. Uh, with liver pate. Yeah. Avocado. Cultured vegetables. Mm, these vegetables are cultured. Well, yeah, that's that would also be named cultured vegetables. But it did not go on <laughs> as long as the uh, activated almonds. They, they, they all have at least a master's degree or higher. They're quite, <laughs> <laughs> they're quite cultured. Wow. And talk about smart food. I could never find out. I could never find out what, what a cultured vegetable is. Like, um, I, I <laughs> like don't, when, I don't it, know. when it's even supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's nothing. We are, we already know that it's nothing. But like, what what is what even constitutes a cultured vegetable in this kind of fucked up framework? Yeah, it's. Um, I don't really know, and I don't really care. But um, activated elements. It's uh, it's a big meme. 
cultured vegetables plus ginger and licorice root tea. Mm-hmm. Sounds uh, uh, pungent. Pungent, yeah. quite pungent. Gin- ginger tea is actually quite good. I love ginger tea, but yeah. I don't think it's gonna, you know, cure cure all my ailments. Um, uh, uh, it's it's actually good for uh, nausea. Nausea, okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, down with that. This is a uh, this is actually a proven thing. Uh, mm. Eating or drinking a ginger beverage, um, or eating ginger like pickle or whatever, um, candied, uh, is good uh, uh, as a basic. Um, like if you have like really bad nausea and you were gonna puke, it, it's not gonna save you. But you know, sometimes you have this mild nausea in the mo in the morning that is just um, annoying. And uh, ginger is really good against that. <laughs> well, I do seem to want to drink ginger tea when I have a cold or a flu or something. So maybe that's sort of what it's doing. It's kind of calibrating my uh, my stomach issues or something. Uh, probably. What happened to me quite a lot at some times is that I drank a lot of coffee. And when I had too much coffee, I started getting nauseous. So mm. uh, at this point, I, I had some ginger and uh, uh, everything was fine again. Nice. So you can just keep caffeinating like there's no tomorrow. Oh, uh, no, just, no, no. I, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> just load it up. F- 500 milligrams. <laughs> going all the way. All fully caffeinated, fully loaded. Okay, uh, um, 12.30 p.m. <laughs> uh, fresh fish. Yeah. Sautéed kale and broccoli. Uh-huh. Spinach and avocado salad. And again, not he's he shortened it from cultured vegetables to cultured veggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're very smart, uh, very learned. Three p.m. Time for another meal. Uh, activated almonds. Yeah. Activate. <laughs> Coconut chips, cacao nibs, plus green tea. Cacao nibs are horrible. Yeah. Did you ever try some? It's like the most bitter thing on earth. It's. A level of disgusting that is uh, mind blowing. Like it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's a level of bitter that I did not know exists. Hmm. No, I I I like high intensity dark chocolate, but I don't know if I've ever had a true cacao nib. Well, have you ever had this ninety nine percent chocolate with ninety nine percent of uh, of cocoa? Maybe not that high. Okay. I don't know. I have I have I have like some seventy seven percent in my cabinet right now. Yeah, no, seventy seven is still pretty pretty sugary and uh, and nice, uh, and relatively mild and uh, very far from a. You know, it's kind of. It's to bitterness what uh, California Reaper is to spiciness, Carolina mm-hmm. Reaper. Um, well, if you're Pete if, Evans, chef and Weight Watchers ambassador, you can hold down some straight cacao nibs with your plus green tea. Yeah, I mean, that's because <laughs> <laughs> you're a real man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Six thirty p.m. Now, this is something you're only going to find uh, down in the southern hemisphere: emu meatballs. Yep, emu meatballs. Emu meatballs. It's far, far superior to any other kind of meatball meat. Do you ever sure. have emu? I think I've had an emu sausage at some point. I used to live in Los Angeles where a lot of weird foods uh, were shoved upon me. And I think I had an emu sausage at some point. What do you think of emu? Have you tried emu? No, I tried ostrich. I assume it's quite similar. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, but uh, of course, why would why would you choose emu over a, a, a different, uh, easier to find meat? There's beats me. Hard, the harder to find, the more rare, fabulous, and virtuous its properties. I'm sure, <laughs> according, according to this logic. And yeah. uh, so emu emu meatballs. Okay, sautéed veggies plus. Yeah. Cultured veggies. Maybe cultured means. F- <laughs> Maybe cultured means fermented. Uh, that's think? what I assumed at some point. Uh, okay. I, I, I doubt it, but. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Cultured, 
Cultured could mean fermented, like, like, like uh, blah, 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 yogurt. Yogurt is uh, cultured, described as cultured, yeah. which means it has some probiotics in it to be good for your digestion. That's true. That's yeah. true. So sauteed yeah. veggies and cultured veggies, you got to get both kinds of veggies. But why wouldn't, why wouldn't you just say, like, pickled, like a normal person? Because um, you have to sound smarter than a normal yes. person, and you have your they have your emu meatballs. <sighs> yeah, just... like if someone was just going to tell me to eat pickled veggies, like I would just listen to my mom or my grandmother or something. I wouldn't need to buy books and seminars from Pete Evans, chef and Weight Watchers ambassador. You know, mm. so he has to use special words for me to buy his special products. We could we could use that. At the end of the show. Don't forget to activate your almonds. Don't forget to activate your almonds. And just say that every single every single week. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that works. Is that um, a, the whole thing? I think there's a, another meal. Oh, yeah. No, there's more. I was just But, taking yeah, a moment the, to the, write the down activate almonds. It's like it, the breakfast is the worst one after it gets a little milder. Okay, so sautéed veggies plus cultured vegetables mm. plus a cup of ginger and licorice root tea. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, it specifies a cup this time of the ginger and licorice root tea. It was unspecified amount at 8.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you could drink a whole gallon of uh, ginger and licorice root tea in the morning if you want to. Mm. Um, 8.30 p.m., A homemade coconut, carob, blueberry, goji, and stevia muffin. Ugh, and a chamomile tea. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Yeah, it gets less and less worse uh, So uh, as, as the day goes on. It's, uh, it's mostly that, that first breakfast that is um, quite uh, triggering for uh, people who know anything about food or nutrition or health in general well m me as a as a person who really likes to make her muffins like that's what i specialize in at work where i uh oh. i cook for a living um i feel i feel very personally attacked by this homemade coconut carob blueberry goji and stevia muffin <laughs> that, sounds, <laughs> that sounds terrible yeah I would, i would i would never inflict that on anybody it's, it's cruel yeah yeah Muffins are sacred to me. Oh yeah, there's there's some. Uh, for a long time, I didn't like muffins because I found them too stodgy. I don't really like stodgy foods. But mm -hmm. uh, more recently, I discovered um, how do you say stuffed muffins? Okay. Filled with uh, peanut butter or or Nutella or jam or you know something. Hmm. Maybe just That sounds nice. Fruit uh, or. Um, Melted chocolate, or you know, whatever, and uh, that that completely reconciled me with uh, muffins. And uh, my, my my favorite muffin now is a chocolate chip muffin stuffed with uh, peanut butter. That sounds really nice. It is. I I would like to think that none of my muffins are stodgy. They aren't stuffed with anything, but they seem to always turn out really moist and delectable. I mean, it's I, I tend to find a lot of things uh, stodgy. Uh, so uh, that that's maybe just me, but you know, um, for example, I, I I cannot eat sponge cake. It's too too stodgy for me. Hmm. What wait? What does stodgy mean exactly? Oh, uh, it's like it, annoying to chew, not pleasurable to swallow. I don't. You know, it's like oh. uh, <sighs> too too dry, too cakey, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say okay. that. Yeah. As a general rule, I'm not a cake person. Uh, when I when I go for a dessert, I'll I'll go with something like a uh, ice cream or chocolate mousse or uh, something like that. Anything that has flour in it, not really my favorite thing. Well, come on down to Texas sometime, and we'll serve you up some muffins that'll make your head spin. Sure. So don't forget to activate your almonds. This is what we what we want to do with our, the closing statement. Not sure if it's a good idea, but you know I'm just. Um, shooting the shit. We've come up with a lot of brilliance today, I think. Yeah. Like, there's like a lot of great options here and uh, no, no obvious resolution at this point. 
Maybe, maybe don't forget to deactivate your almonds before you go to bed. Whew, don't, okay. don't, let, don't let them activate it during the night. Uh, <laughs> remember to not remember. If you see something, say nothing and drink to forget. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's, uh, that's a quote from our, one of my favorite podcasts. It's a little mm-hmm. too... It's a little too much stealing. Um, you know, Picasso said, good artists copy, but great artists steal. Mm-hmm. But that's a little too much. There's a thin purple line between strange and beautiful, and that line is covered in jellyfish. Mm. Another quote from the same podcast. Um, <laughs> beautiful <maybe>. as fuck. <laughs> um, so, uh, it would be nice if it wasn't like too random, just the right amount, because uh, too mm. random, like it's just gonna. Just gonna suck after a few weeks. We're gonna get sick of it. I, I know it. Yeah, when you get when you get too random, you start inviting like the like the Monty Python quoters and like oh like oh it's a what's the land speed of a African swallow like just really yeah. lame. Do you have Monty Python quoters in your in your world? I am one. I am a big big fan, and I quote them. Quite all the time. Sorry. So, nah, it's fine. Uh, if uh, we had all, all, all the same opinion and tastes, the world would be blonde and boring. I don't know. I reached I reached a point in high school where I was like, okay, like stop quoting the Monty Python, you know? It's but, like... you know, this quote is like everywhere all the time. I, mm-hmm. I've been sick of it for years now. Yeah. Uh, but there are some good ones. Th- um, those st- aren't, aren't overplayed yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. My my favorite is the meaning of life. There's mm-hmm. plenty of great quotes in there, uh, and uh, yeah, like uh, "Welcome to the middle of the film." Yeah, at, the, at the at the at the middle of the film, the film stops, and there's some guy. Says, Welcome to the middle of the film, or as you know, uh, when they slap each other with a trout. That was a huge internet meme before internet memes were the real thing. Like. 20 years ago was on mm-hmm. the, one of the first um, one of the first internet memes <sighs> stay 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 fizzy stay sparkling um, stay dumb stay retarded stay retarded that's that's pretty that's pretty nice you know don't uh, being smart is overrated just mm. stay retarded remember being smart is overrated that rhymes so that would be great for a song um, maybe we should quote one of my old songs. Mm-hmm. So uh, like that, the the big fans uh, will um, have the little reference. Um, but I don't know. I didn't make a, didn't make a lot of quotable songs. Yeah, you say a lot of good stuff about uh, acknowledging one's mental limitations. I think it's I think it's good. We. Because in the grand scheme of things, we're all we're all far less smart than we think we are, even the smart ones. Mm. I think that's a good message to to inflict or instill in people. It's hard to really quantify. Intelligence is uh, probably may, maybe even more subjective than things like beauty or uh, like most scientists agree that IQ is absolute bullshit that it doesn't mm-hmm. me- measure really anything. Um, and uh, there's a lot of different shapes of intelligence, like uh, logic or uh, mathematical intelligence or, you know, communication intelligence, the, the social skills or, mm-hmm. uh, you know, artistic creativity. I mean, there's so many forms and a lot of people uh, have mainly one or some people have several, uh, like... Um, is someone who is like really, really skilled at one thing, more or less intelligent than someone who's averagely skilled at a lot of things? Mm-hmm. You can yeah, I mean, there, you can decide that it's uh, it's always going to be blurry and uh, there's no answer to that. So, uh, intelligence as a concept is overrated. 
we often think of ourselves as more intelligent than we actually are, and we think that other people tend to like it, or or the other way around, we think that we are dumb and that mm-hmm. other people are smarter. And now, uh, I don't think it's a good metric for anything. I don't. I think it's a pretty bullshit concept. Yeah, I think I think people that are most attached to the idea of seeing themselves as smart are trying to find a way to explain for their lack of social success. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they like, I, they retreat inwardly and identify with their own mind and they're like, well, everybody else is out having fun with each other, but at least I have all of these interesting thoughts to keep me company. And, uh, so they, those are the people that are investing the most stock and in valuing intelligence and comparing intelligence and using their own mental talents as, as a mark of uh, what's, what's intellectually superior. I, I can say that because that's definitely been me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something that rhymes would be memorable. Be hot or be cool, but don't be a fool. Oh, that sucks. God. That's bad. Uh, be rich or be poor, but don't eat the floor. <laughs> I don't think we should tell people what they should do. Maybe mm. a dip, something like. Yeah, I agree. I like. I don't. I have a tendency in me to be a little too bossy anyway, so I kind of want to veer away from that tendency. Yeah. I want to boss around the listeners. They, 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 they're, they're autonomous, clever individuals. They, they know what to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They can make a deci- decision for themselves, whether to get spayed or neutered or whether to have a mojito or not. Yeah. 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 Um, they know whether to activate or deactivate their almonds. Sure. Like sh- sharing wisdom is sharing is better than advice. Is there any like yeah. wisdom that doesn't fall into the advice category? Uh, in the grand scheme of things, you were already dead. Ooh, yeah. That's I believe that very strongly for my own life. Yeah, same. Um, I used to have a little post-it note on my fridge that said 10,000 CE and made me think about what the world's going to be like or what the world could be like 10,000 years into the common era. And, uh, it's a very comforting notion because what it, like whatever happens or doesn't happen in my life is like completely irrelevant to future states of humanity. If it, if it's even still here at all. Don't breathe too much oxygen. You don't know how much you have left. <laughs> Isn't um, that going back to giving people advice? Yeah, but if it's like nonsensical advice, it could work better. Mm, um, okay. I don't know there's a there's a the the brothers Green, uh, Hank and John have this uh, thing at the end um, of their um, vlogs and uh, podcasts. This uh, it's a don't forget to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hate it. I want to. Uh, that's I. You know they make a lot of great stuff, but this phrase that they have it's uh, it's dreadful in every way. Fucking hate it. So um, if we could, I don't know, have an ironic version that subverses the the concept. Now, don't don't forget to be an asshole. Nobody cares if you. Nobody cares if you're nice or not. Um, yeah, uh, that's maybe a little too edgy. I don't know. Uh, or you can uh, take that whole, you know, going back to the theme of where the where the worst earload on the internet, and give some people some guidance on how to be the worst. That's not bad. I like the idea. And remember, if you commit to being the worst, you never have to worry about being the best. Remember. Or, or, you know, science fact. Remember, the, mit- the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Say that again. <laughs> the, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Very true. It's, Can we uh, just do a true true fact at the end of every episode? Like maybe. That? True facts. True facts. Or maybe 
one uh, like every every other week we do a true one and then a, a fake one like the mm-hmm. like the Jax films or you know maybe like the um, like the shitty life pro tips from Reddit. Mm. I don't know if you know the the shitty life pro tips. If you're familiar, like put a one on chicken. I made that my my coworker and I, my boss and I, because I know who they call my boss and sometimes they call my coworker. But is we it, made that the put a one on chicken meme. Is it not good? A one on chicken. Yeah, I've never no. tasted a one. It's, uh, it's you. Uh, you've shared it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I, I know it's a sauce that's for steak, but uh, I don't remember the meme about chicken. Yeah, put A1 on chicken. It would be disgusting. Oh, really? I never yeah. tasted it. Don't try it. Attach your keys to your nose ring so you don't have to find them. Never, mm. never lose your keys again. <laughs> that's... That's a... That's a... That's a pro tip, all right. Cut your tennis balls in half that lets you store more of them in the tube. Oh my. Oh, I know what. Okay. Um, if you stain a shirt, you can simply outline the stain with a sharpie and give it a name. This will make <laughs> it. This will make it seem like you visit islands. Oh man, should we just steal a, a shitty life pro tip from Reddit every week? Maybe. Why not? Who says we fucking can't? Yeah, uh, it could. It could be. Um, it could be not bad. The best way to download a YouTube video is to screenshot each second and play it on PowerPoint. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Glue a tiny mirror over the picture of you on your driver's license so when you hand it to the police, they get confused and arrest themselves instead. (laughs) That's so stupid. I love it. That's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, things that make you go uh, people will stop showing you pictures of their of their kids if you whisper oh fuck yeah under your breath when you look at their photos (laughs) (laughs) fucking true as fuck only a fool would buy Ikea furniture instead I just download the instructions and keep mailing their service department to say that I am missing a piece until they ship me all the pieces of our six months period. Ooh. Smart. I have a weird attraction for Ikea. I'm known for that. Okay. Around here. Yes, I might do that. Quick, quick off topic question for you. Yes. So I was at work where we cook food and I was telling my boss about, um, that you'd mentioned goat and lemon stew and that yeah. I wanted some and he got really pissed off. He's like, well, what else is in it? I'm like, I don't know. I asked if he had a recipe and he said he just put in random stuff and he was like, what the fuck does he put in this goat and lemon stew? Oh, you know, uh, it depends on the season, uh, you know, uh, ve- veggies, some better, uh, some herbs and, uh, some spices. Uh, goat is not really flavorful. It's not a super flavorful meat, so it goes well with a wide variety of things. I know that it goes really well with lemon, so I I use mainly lemon to flavor the broth. But uh, apart from that, a lot of stuff works. Tomatoes work. Uh, anything that is acidic works very well. So tomatoes, uh, when they cook, they uh, they develop this acidity that goes quite well with the um, goat. Um, zucchini works pretty good. Eggplant works good too. Celery, uh, it, it goes quite well with it. Mm-hmm. You know. So but, if you had to, if you had made if you had to make a goat stew tonight, what would you put in it? I would, I would definitely put celery. It goes quite well with it. And um, I would put zucchini. Mm-hmm. Olives. I love olives. Like mm-hmm. these big, maybe these big purple olives from Greece, like the Kalamata or mm. something like that. Uh, nice. So, of course, lemon. Mm-hmm. I, would, I would mix, I, I would use um, some preserved lemons and some lemon juice. Okay. Um, parsley. It, it goes really well. 
Um, mm -hmm. So I would like put a lot of parsley in it. And um, yeah, after that, it's just thyme, rosemary, cumin, and of course, salt uh, and butter, a, a big knob of butter to uh, make the broth um, quite uh, fatty because uh, cheap, uh, cheap goat is um, not, it's quite lean, so uh, you need to. Uh, and pop the fat content for it to be mm -hmm. uh, better. And of course, you uh, cook it slow at a low flame. So um, slow and low. So it doesn't get you know hard. Yeah. Hmm. I've never put olives in a stew or soup in my life. Before. It's uh, it's quite common in North Africa, where eating mm -hmm. goat is also common. So. Uh, I'm definitely going to go get some goat goat meal of some sort today because I've been wanting goat ever ever since we talked about that. <laughs> I get it. Um. <laughs> so vibe check. Where where are we at? Do we want to do pro tips or what? Do you, what are you thinking? Tell me. Tell me what's going through your mind. Um, what would be cool is if we did some advice, like we ask listeners to send questions. We pick a favorite mm -hmm. one, and we, we answer it. It would be a nice way to end. Like a whole advice segment? Maybe not a whole segment, just we pick one question that we really like, and we answer one question per episode. And uh, so uh, when, when we have a guest, they can give their input. It can be interesting mm -hmm. or yeah. not. I don't know. Um, well, that's that's a bit more involved than a segment, right? Or than a than a sign off. So this is a separate thing that we you you're thinking about now yeah, that we're on yeah, the yeah. on the topic of pro tips. We're we're thinking about doing advice. I like it. I love giving my opinion about what other people should do with their lives. Personally. <laughs> Don't we all? Um, <laughs> other people's lives are so much easier than my own life to comment on. That's normal. That's because you have more distance. We should never follow our own advice. We should always follow the advice of other people because they have perspective. For a good send-off, it needs to be short. Short. It's better if it's short, in my opinion. I think we should aim for something under 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Something we can say in under 20 seconds would be ideal. Um, yep. I know that... Uh, I, I, I noticed that when people have intros or outros that are a little bit too long, I, I start uh, getting bored around 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And um, after 45 seconds, I'm like, what the fuck? This is too long. What the fuck is this? I, uh, I get like, I get pissed off. Yeah. Like, why are you fucking wasting my time? Yeah. 20 seconds is the, is the time of a um, phone ring. The average, mm. the average phone rings for twenty seconds before it goes to voicemail. Uh, mm. It's a, it's, it's good. Um, it's twenty one actually, but uh, it's a good, uh, good time. It's a good timing. Mm -hmm. You can grab people's attention, but not bore them. Yeah. So, so it's, it's better if it's short. That's why I didn't like the wolf howl, despite its, its brilliance. It's, uh, it's gonna be too long. Yeah. So. Uh, so that's why I, I, I was thinking that um, at the end of the sentence, we should have just one small word, like peace or see ya, or stay chill. I don't know. Stay hot. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a little too bossy. Um, you know, stay chill, I used it as an example, but, um, you know. Yeah. See ya. Ayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Uh, Later, gators. See ya is a bit weird for an earload. So, <laughs> talk, talk to you next time. Would be, uh, talk to you later. Talk to you later. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. It's a talk show. And we talk to the audience. Talk to you later. Oh. It's, uh, it's friendly. We will talk to them later. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Mm -hmm. I will. I mean. Uh, talk to you later. Yeah. Toodles. Oh, God, no. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, that's classic, but uh, it works. Bye-bye. Uh, 
Yeah, but maybe some some something a little more special would be better than uh, when I say siya, I, I use it as an example of something short that works as a um, word ending. And uh, if if there are several of us, I mean, if there's there's, there's already several of us, but uh, uh, we can say it at the same time. May the force be with you. Ah, oh, fuck! Please don't. That's. <laughs> that's so uh, that's the most cringe normie thing that you could think of Star Wars reference nothing maybe worse than this maybe it's so cringy it's actually uh, dank again no keep calm and carry on <laughs> keep calm and carry on mm, it's inspiring it's lovely it was a military propaganda poster in the UK during the second world war yeah, no, I, I know. That's your least favorite meme. Yep. <laughs> so it would be like turbo ironic. Um, yeah, you could trigger yourself every episode. Yeah, but it's fine because it's this, the, 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 end, the, the end word. You could switch out the words. You could just be like, keep panicking and give up. Uh, kill people, burn shit, fuck school. Kill people, burn shit, fuck what? School. Shit. Oh, kill people, burn shit, fuck school. It's a it's a rap song from a few years ago. It was quite popular. I liked it. Mm. From the okay. band, from the band, Odd Future, Wolfgang, kill them all. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know. I know of them, but I'm not deeply familiar with their work. Contrary to a lot of uh, rappers, they don't try to be deep. They're more like ironic kind of uh, sheet posting in music form. Yeah, I went to, I, I was, I hung out with a, a 20 year old gal for a while and we were in LA and we went to Tyler, the creator's boutique uh-huh. in Los Angeles. And it was an interesting experience. It's, at the time the store was just called golf. I don't know if, if it's still there, if they changed the name according to like his new projects. Yeah. Now golf was, um, few years ago i i I, yeah. I don't think uh, it's still used uh, yeah to my knowledge it hasn't been used in a few years yeah if i if i don't if i don't hang out with people much younger than me then i'm not going to find out what's going on in popular culture and maybe that's good uh, yeah i'm only I, familiar I with unpopular culture <laughs> <laughs> um. uh i really liked in the grand scheme of things you're already dead so it's a it's a it's a lyric from a song I'm working on. Um, yeah, it's under twenty seconds. It's uh, it's meaningful. It's useful. It'll it'll it leaves the listeners with a a note to go on go out on that will leave them detached and uh, calm for the rest of their day. Mm. Yeah, I really like the idea of wisdom of the day. Or something mm-hmm. of the day, and yeah. then after saying the the wisdom or the whatever, uh, a short word, or a or a you know like see ya, you know a, a short okay. expression. I yeah. I really think the more I think about it, the more I think that's the road we should travel. We yeah we've we've circled back to it in various forms like as we've gone on through this conversation. So there's something to that, and you and I both like it. So that's yeah. good. Skate fast, eat ass. <laughs> that as the as the short word skate fast eat ass yeah i mean it's not short enough but it's an idea it could be like so, some kind of micro proverb but yeah Wait, it, does it mean you, you skate fast and then you fall on yourself or that we want people to like lick each other's buttholes uh yeah or I, think both. It's, uh, I think it's both okay yeah yeah i'm i'm not um, I know that eating ass is really popular right now, so people would like that. Maybe it would be d- dated. I don't know. Um, you could say uh, use seasonal veggies. Yeah, that's a good wisdom. What about we can just we can use peace. How do you feel about peace as our short word? Closing short word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I already do on my YouTube videos. So it would give a um... tie tie everything in together. Peace. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, 
We could we could do a distant throw throwback and say, "Give peas a chance." Give urine a chance. Give urine a chance. Yeah, because it's piss. Give piss. Give peace. Peace. Give peace a chance. I was thinking peas, like the the vegetable. Oh, I see. Yeah. Give peas a chance. Uh, they that was like a, a a play on give peace a chance. They would they would tell kids like give peas a chance because the kids won't eat their vegetables, but give piss a chance is um it's something. That's some, that's something. <laughs> give 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 peace a chance. Give piss a chance. Yeah. It, it's it, like it's extra interesting because everybody on the show is going to have different accents. So when we all try to say "give piss a chance," it's going to sound different. Yeah, it's uh, it's an idea. It's an idea. Uh, <laughs> can you maybe reread me the list of the ones that we picked? Maybe it will spark some inspiration that we can read. The, the original, the original good sign-offs list. Yep. Okay. Stay hot, stay cool, or stay lukewarm. Yeah. If no one's told you already today, insert meme here. Uh huh. Uh, this show is brought to you by the fluids of Daryl Robinson. Yeah. Uh, when life gives you limes, have a mojito. That sounds better the second time around. Uh, pour one out for all the dead memes out there. Yeah. Help control the world population. Have yourself spayed or neutered. Inside of you, there are two wolves. Mm. One is named Toby, the other named Toby. Both wolves. <laughs> both wolves are named Toby. <laughs> I like that. I, I love this meme. It's so really it's, uh, good. Yeah, it's, uh, Plus, it's good because it's an ironic thing that is built into one of these bullshit phrases that the uh, emo hot topic teens say all the time. Like, uh, what two wolves inside of you? One is uh, good, the other is bad. The one that wins the fight is the one you feed. So <laughs> fake, fake, deep th- seventh grader bullshit that I absolutely hate. So, uh, one more reason to love this meme. Yeah, this is this is actually a profound non-duality statement dressed up as a as making fun of another pro-duality statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside of you, there are two wolves. One says the N word; the other quotes crime statistics. You are an epic gamer. (laughs) Gangweed. Gangweed. You know what? You know what? We could um, take a moment to. You or or me or all of us take a moment each week to like pick a new variation of this meme. Like, uh, were you the were you the one that shared? Um, there are two wolves inside of you. One is addicted to cement. The other yeah. is addicted to cement. You are addicted to cement. Yep. Yeah, I shared that in a in like an addiction recovery group, and it went really well. Nice. I like that a lot there. Yeah, because <laughs> we're all addicted to cement. <laughs> Uh, is that longer than 20 seconds? Uh, and, you know, it's only a guideline. We should not make it a rule. The 20 seconds, okay. it's, uh, you know, it's better if it's uh, short. Yeah. That's still that's still not too... That, that's an interchangeable format that's still not too terribly long. Yeah, and, yeah. and if we get really sick of that meme one day, we can always just pick, like, another, you know, meme to close things out on. Yeah, um... And then we yell piss mm. or peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget your calcium. Get ready for the skeleton war. Skeleton war? Yeah, the skeleton war. Oh, I haven't heard about the skeleton war. Well, uh, it's a meme from Twitter from the user Drill uh, that said, uh, if your grave doesn't say rest in peace, then your skeleton is automatically drafted for the skeleton war. <laughs> it's a really, really great meme. Uh, 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 it's good. Or maybe we could say something like, 
I don't know. Uh, you you really should spend less on candles, man. You're, that's too many candles. You buy too many candles, you have a problem. That's, spend less on candles, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something like that, you know? Uh, no. um, I think we have so much good advice for people, and it's all going to get old, that this really circles back to we just need to, to just sit, have a room for the end of, like, wisdom for the week and put one of these things in yeah. there and, and just have enough creative space to put a new weekly wisdom in every, every episode. None of this is r- truly satisfying. Like there's a bunch mm-hmm. of good ideas, there's a bunch of great ideas, but I need something that is satisfying, something that mm-hmm. is satisfying to say and that is satisfying to hear. Mm-hmm. Um, Drink paint. Drink paint. Yeah, drink paint. Yeah. Drink paint. M- yeah, maybe a quote from like, uh, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. <laughs> yeah, that's been on shirts for a long time. Better late than pregnant. Mm. Is that really satisfying to say? Better late than pregnant. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Yeah. Don't be too cringy or you're going to lose followers. Use your hands. Use your hands. Yeah. Subscribe to (laughs) (laughs) T-Series. They've won. (laughs) Throw away your television. Throw away your television? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to use your hands for? Oh, well, anything. Um, it was an, uh, it was on a um, thing about art. Um, say that you should you use your hands for, for some stuff, even for practicing, even if you uh, uh, are just a designer uh, on computers. You, should, you know, uh, well, you know, it could be like for cooking or anything. Just use your hands for some stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Friendly reminder, you have hands. Friendly reminder, you do have hands. Yeah, but maybe some people don't have hands. What do every people have? A heart? Liver? Um, don't, don't forget about your pancreas. Don't forget about your pancreas. Remember the pancreas. It's always there. It's always there, working in the background. Yeah. Just like the location... Uh, Location finder on your phone. Whatever you are, be a good one. Mm, whatever you are, be a good one. I like that. Abraham Lincoln said that. Apparently. Mm. I mean, quotes on the internet are really very often misattributed. So. <laughs> be the change you want to see in the world. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky said that? I don't I know. know Gandhi. I know Gandhi didn't say it. People say that Gandhi said it, but it's it's a it's a drastic paraphrasing of whatever the original thing was that he said. Too many people undervalue what they are and overvalue what they're not. Mm. Now it's too insightful for a send off. Yeah. Too. Uh, it's not f- funny at all. It doesn't have to be funny. Does it not have to be? Funny I mean, fun is fun is good, but it should not be mandatory. But is it? Can it be satisfying to say if it's not funny at all? There's like no level of humor or irony whatsoever. Well, I think that people will expect us to say something funny at the end. So saying something not funny will subvert the expectation. That could mm. be funny in itself. In the something. end, that's still funny though. It could be funny in itself to say something not funny on a podcast that is inherently funny. Because yeah. it's, you know, unexpected. So wait, what was that one again? The one that uh, that made me go like, ugh, that's not funny at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's bad. Too many people undervalue what they are and overvalue what they're not. It's, it's bad for us. And it's a good quote, but it's bad for a send-off. We, we need yeah. something like simple, straight, that gets... Uh, 
that people don't have really to think about too much. That one is just like f- throwing a, a like a, funny or not funny. It's just like throwing a wet towel on. Your yeah, friends. yeah, yeah. And um, when it's send off time, people's mind is already drifting away. So we need something short and straight to the point. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Never make the same mistake twice. Make it like five or six times, you know, just to be sure. Mm. I like that. Do you like it? Kind of. I like, yeah. I, I I like mean, everything. I'm, I'm easy to please. Yeah, that's not a good thing. You have to be more, Sorry. Criti- more critical and uh, don't apologize for it. Just when you are creating, when you are making, you need to be critical. Mm-hmm. You cannot just, you know, you cannot just put every color on a painting and call it a day. You have to pick some that jive with each other and discard some of the stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just kind of get into the mode where I'm just like kind of throwing stuff out there, just like being a generator of random stuff. And then, like, I have a separate brain that I turn on where, like, I would probably listen back to this episode and cut everything up, and then, like, days later, come to some kind of determination yeah. in my writing process. I can't, I can't, I can't generate and edit at the same in the same session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so course. right now I like everything. <laughs> That's uh, kind of like what Hemingway said. Right, yeah. drunk, edit sober. Okay, uh, I'm 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 brain drunk right now. Yeah, that's good. Um, I should I should probably be drinking. It uh, helps. The, I mean, it's a little late now, but mm-hmm. it's uh, I, sh- I should have done it before Damn started it. recording. Have you done uh, a lot of podcasts? Uh, somewhat tipsy or? Yeah, I mean, somewhat tipsy. No, not really. Just, just you know, one or two shots of whiskey just to get the things going. Just to uh, mm-hmm. just a little. Um, uh, in the a little more flowy, a little more you loosened know. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I have to I have to get into that space without the uh, without the booze. Oh. Sad, sad for me. Okay, I'll carry on. My heart will go on. I mean, it's a uh, it's a strange choice, but if it works, if it doesn't matter. Get rid of it. Mm. That's that's good. It's a, it's a good advice. It's a good quote, but it's also short to the point that you don't have to think too much about it. You get it instantly. Um, yeah. It's, it's it's pretty. Also, it's um. It's an interesting uh, reflection on the work of editing. So um, it could work quite well on several levels um yeah i'm i'm opening it in the new tab just to um have it on hand but it's 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 just the right shape and and vibration you know vibration Um, yeah you gotta you gotta feel the vibes on each of these statements for sure vibe check vibe check <laughs> we could close with that vibe jack we age not by years but by stories mm. <laughs> that's kind of stupid yeah but you know it's the worst podcast on the internet it's the worst mm-hmm. ear alone on the internet I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with talk show for a while just to um, have the um, a transition period and uh if uh, if we really set it on ear load, uh, we will use it eventually. But r- right now, I'm, I'm going to still use um, talk show for a few episodes. Start like easing people into the ear load. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ear load is really good. Uh, if I still like it in a few weeks, then uh, it's settled. Okay. So it's a really great uh, word. You got you got to sleep on it like buying a car. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's it, oh, more more to the point but buying a mattress. Mm. So you gotta sleep on it before you sleep on it. Ah, uh, no. You, then you have well, a lot, a lot of mattresses come with a um, ninety day return policy. That's true. So you can literally sleep on it. 
while you sleep on it. But, you know, returning a mattress sounds like so much work. Like you gotta get it out of your bed, then what? Put it in a in a car or you're on your bike. I think the 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 mattress people come pick it up for you. Really? Oh, if if that's the case, then it's great. Then it's time to buy a new mattress with a ninety day return policy, so that uh, the um, the mattress people will come pick it up. But make sure yeah. to make sure to read your terms and conditions. That's good advice to lead people on. Make sure to read your terms and conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy a good pair of shoes and a good mattress, because when you're not in one, you're in the other. Ooh, damn. I'm I'm actually barefoot right now, and I'm also not on my mattress, so it doesn't totally apply to me. You're a, such a rebel. <laughs> I like to sit kind of like a like a monkey or something with like my feet positioned on multiple things so like they're not on the ground but they're also not on any kind of foot rest i'm just kind of like they're on various bins <laughs> full of papers <laughs> it's a really funny setup right now well i haven't really found anything better if it doesn't matter get rid of it and it's gonna sound like we're really witty when we cut all of this down because it'll sound like just like bam, 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 idea, idea, idea. <laughs> we will know that we were like sitting here for fucking like five minutes, I mean, <laughs> just like just like st staring into the void. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, I want to say people aren't stupid and know that uh, it's edited, and uh, on the other hand, if they're so stupid that they don't know that it's edited, that you know they deserve it. <laughs> Well, they'll know it's edited, but like they, they'll have no idea like how much space there was between ideas. Yeah, um, yeah. that'll be a secret. Only only you and I will know. <laughs> Life is short. Eat dessert first. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It, it, it would probably work <laughs> nicely. Um, yeah. Don't let idiots ruin your day. Don't let idiots ruin your day. What if you are the idiot? What if you ruin your own day? Well, yeah, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Smile and the world smiles with you. <laughs> Classic. People disappoint. Pizza is eternal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sponsored by Domino's. <laughs> You can just fraudulently claim to be sponsored by Domino's so that other advertisers will want to get in on the action. That could work. I'm not even sure it's illegal. No, not probably not. I don't know. Depends on where we're airing. What 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 happens when your podcast is being produced in multiple countries and is aired internationally? I don't think. I, I'm pretty sure it's not illegal here. I know that in the UK they made Instagrammers start. Uh, declaring when their posts are sponsored. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, in the whole world. It's uh, it's illegal in pretty much every country uh, to not disclose uh, sponsorships, and uh, including in the U.S. and here in France. Really, it's illegal yeah. here now. Oh. oh, it's no, it has been illegal for a long time. It's not just now. Hmm. Mm. Um, I thought it's that was that, more of a recent development. Well, for a long time, the law was not really enforced uh, because mm -hmm. uh, law enforcement has taken quite a lot of time to catch up with the internet. But yeah, it has been illegal for a very long time. It's not new. Uh, like, uh, if you only make like a hundred bucks a month with your um, sub sponsorships, they're not going to go after you, you know, but if you're like a mm. big, if it goes over 10k a year, you become a target. Still re relatively far from it. Mm, people, people disappoint. Carbs are eternal. Doesn't have to be people. Uh, weather. weather. Weather disappoints. Carbs are eternal. Tacos are eternal. Damn straight. <laughs> Damn, there's some kind of 
A lot of wind outside. Yeah, I don't know if they're windy day. Uh, the rats, well, how do the rats react to the wind? Uh, they hate it. They hate uh, the wind. Yeah. But they like storms, not wind. Yeah. They, they, okay. like, they like rain uh, and storms. But mm -hmm. uh, wind is... Uh, it's quite bad for them, actually. Uh, if they're exposed to drafts, uh, it can damage their um, respiratory system. Aww. So they tend to really avoid it. Poor little guys. Poor little mischief. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they, yeah. they don't give a shit about water. They're, they love to swim, most of them. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, you know, the other day I was walking outside with my rat in my hand and it started raining. She didn't give a shit about it. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why they're famous for sewing up in sewers. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you often take your rats out and about on walks? Um, relatively often, yeah. I mean, some of them really seem to enjoy it, so I tend to take these ones. Mm -hmm. um, most rats that I have at the moment have not seen the outside because I, I was wait until they're adults to mm -hmm. walk them uh, around. But the adults, the, 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 the adult rats are really chill. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least most of them. So I don't have to worry that something will happen. Just you take your rat in your hand, it, it will squirm for uh, 30 seconds and then be quiet for a few hours. How long Especially... does it take for... Oh, sorry. No, what, what do you want to ask? Oh, how long does it take for them to reach adulthood? About nine months. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. When they, uh, it, it's, uh, the, the speed kind of varies quite a lot between rat to, from rat to rat. But, um, when they get to one year old, they're definitely adults. So usually I wait just till they're one year old and, uh, I, I take them outside. They, um, uh, love being rocked. So, uh, when you have your rat in your hand and you're walking, it does kind of a, a rocking motion, mm. and uh, they they appreciate it uh, uh, quite a lot. Mm. It's uh, it's quite soothing and agreeable for them to be rocked. Yeah, you, like do you ever carry them around in anything, or do you just like hold them in your hands? Um. Yeah, I'm not. You know, it's a big city, and there's a lot of dogs and cats, and uh, I just yeah, I keep them in my hand. Yeah, also, you don't want uh, them to climb out of whatever they're in and jump out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. You never know because they, they can be um, startled and uh, just uh, start to run away because they've heard a noise that you know they didn't know, and so uh, it make it made them startled for three seconds. But it's a, that's enough for a rat to run away. So um, it's. Uh, it's good to, um, I, I don't really have to, you know, hold them really tightly, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's, uh, they feel safe when they're in your hand, mm -hmm. they, they, because they're used to be grabbed and carried around, uh, so uh, the, your, your hand is the part of your uh, body that they interact with the most by a fucking landslide, so... Mm -hmm. So uh, generally, uh, you know, if you carry them a lot, they'll get used to it, and they you, they will see your hand as some a, a safe place that they enjoy being in. Use your hands. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all circling back. <laughs> Eat, sleep, fortnight, repeat. Where are you finding this? <laughs> What are you doing right now? <laughs> uh, I'm doing nothing. It's just I remembered uh, that from a, a shirt that was quite uh, popular and uh, really cringy, so it got kind of famous. Yeah. Eat, sleep, fortnight, repeat. In case of doubt, overdress. Hmm. Uh, you are a perishable item. <laughs> So this one is good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, 
I'm gonna use the, the, the laugh matter to gauge how good a <laughs> thing it is. I'm your one woman laugh meter right here. I'm also like getting a little loopy as we go. Same. Yeah. Um, but maybe that's good. Like we we're getting we're getting a uh, like I don't know. I, I, yeah, <laughs> get more retarded as you go, and then like the creativity flows with the retardation. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I when I lived in uh, Los Angeles, my first job was working as a writer for pop up video versions of Disney Channel movies. So they'd play the Disney Channel movies and like on screen, all these little comments would pop up like, did you know that Selena Gomez's favorite food is pickles? Uh, something yeah. like that. And uh, yeah, we would just be trapped trapped in this um office with like all these snacks and just spend like eight hours there like watching the movie over and over again <laughs> like getting exceedingly delirious <laughs> this is really making me feel like that again yeah yeah maybe a little bit too random yeah rain, rain it back in again but let's do like a values check like what do, what do we really want to value in this sign off after after we've been through the world and back again, like what what qualities do we really want here? That's a great question. Um, and I am failing to find any answer so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, it should it should be kind of obvious, shouldn't it? I don't know. Uh, memorable or unmemorable? Doesn't matter. Either memorable or unmemorable, okay. It's better if it's memorable, of course, but okay. if it's not memorable, the simple fact that there's going to be a repetition will make it memorable. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that would really help is to keep it short and simple, because if we do uh, something that's too long or too complicated, it will not stick. It needs to be a, like a snippet, like a, one sentence. I've got one. Yeah, tell me. Never shop hungry. Yeah, that's a good wisdom. Uh, okay, so memorable or unmemorable? Um, un under 20 seconds. Yeah. So we can you both agree on that. According to what you said earlier, you think it's better if it's funny? Funny or unfunny? Yeah. Uh, it's got to be funny on some kind of level. Like, it can't be unfunny in the way that's throwing a wet towel on a moment. Like, if it's unfunny, it's got to be... It's got to it's gotta dance with some levels of irony. But I think most, most things that we're going to say in the context of this... Con uh, most things we're going to say in the context of this podcast are going to be inherently ironic. Like, it's going to be hard to say any kind of phrase that's so serious that it doesn't seem ironic while it's being said on this podcast. True. So funny or unfunny? I don't think it has to be funny. I, I, I think that funny is good, but I don't think we should only explore funny possibilities. Um, is funny overplayed? Are we, are we post funny? Yeah, kind of. Okay, post funny. <laughs> I, mean, I can get behind that. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a send off, so uh, we're gonna be saying it every week, mm -hmm. so it will stop being funny after a while. Mm -hmm. So pick something that's already not funny. You know, it's uh, it won't. Yeah. Mm, that's brilliant. It, because if it's some kind of joke, we'll get bored of it. The audience will get bored of it. And, uh, you mm -hmm. know, if you if you hear the same joke week after week, you're going to end up either, either tuning it out or kind of hating it. Yeah. Yeah. So start, start from where it's already not funny. And, like, through repetition, it's only going to get funnier because you're starting at completely unfunny. That's why I, I liked the life is short, eat dessert first. Yeah. Even when it, cause it's funny, but when it stops being funny, will we will will which inevitably arrive sooner or later? 
It's, mm-hmm. yeah, there's still something left. Yeah. It's, there, it, there's still a, a, a meaningful takeaway that you can carry with you after you stop listening to the podcast and you come across one of those moments where your literal or metaphoric dessert is in front of you and you you take it you take that instant gratification and and you remember our encouragement and then you want to tune in next time because it keeps giving you that that feeling of satisfaction into your entire way of life and outlook yeah yeah that's uh that's basically it yeah that's the juice Mm. i can get behind that and that's not just that's not just me liking everything i actually really really like that no, I know, I know, I, I, I get it. Um, do you have any idea of variation? Life is short, eat dessert first. Yeah, because... I mean, it works. Uh, it's not obtrusive, it's not obnoxious. Uh, and uh, it's, pr- it's probably... The, yeah, it's probably the kind of quotes that will still be nice to say and to hear after a while. So, uh, but may- maybe okay. we can do better, I don't know. Uh, I, I think that's gr- great on its own. I can think of some variations if you if you can. Um, like life is short, waste your time. Yeah. Life is short, play video games. That, that's something. Life is short, skip the bullshit. No. No, it needs to be something that is a little more. I like to eat dessert first because it's kind of precise, but not too much. It's already great. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. Can we keep it? I want it. Really? I do. Well, I, I, I I'm not opposed to it. Is it not? Is it not hitting it for you yet? Uh, not not a hundred percent, but okay. I really like it. I really mm-hmm. like it. Uh, I'm just trying to come up with alternatives. Yeah, sure, sure. Life is short. Cook some meth. Because um, it's, it's pretty good because uh, the send-off is at the end of the podcast and dessert is, is at the end of the lunch or dinner. So mm-hmm. it's uh, it works on several levels. I'm just I'm just repeating it in my head over and over again to see if I mm-hmm. get more of it or if it gets mm-hmm. irritating. If it but, gets if it gets like juicier, the more the more you hear it. But yeah, it's it's really really good. It really works on so many levels, mm-hmm. and uh, it's funny if you hear it for the first time. But even if you hear it a lot, it still has interest because it's good wisdom, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's the, the the thing with dessert. Like you said, you said the end and the send off is at the end of the podcast, and. Uh, if we get bored of it, we can always change it. But 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 with so, something similar, you know, life is short. Uh, life is short. Stop shaving. <laughs> stop shaving. It, it, it would work pretty yeah. well. Uh-huh. It's it's worth marrying now, knowing that there's a slight chance you could divorce it later. Yeah, of course. Uh, but that that's always an option, uh, even if mm-hmm. it's something we should probably avoid. Um, it makes me want to live a better life. It really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is short. Sleep, sleep naked. Yeah, I'm. I'm just like thinking of all the ways in which like I am uh, avoiding my dessert that I really, uh, you know, ought to just take advantage of my dessert because why not? Yeah. Life is short. Oh. We should keep it. I like it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so that's uh, that's uh, where you're going to wrap up. Yeah. Because uh, it's been three hours now and... Uh, <laughs> Both going a little kooky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, you know, on that note, life is short. Eat dessert first. Exactly. That's what, that was, uh, that's what I was about. To say, uh, you can say it too. Uh, yeah, it was, maybe we should synchronize. Or someone starts saying, "You know, life is short," and then we'll say dessert first. Uh, at the same time, it would be maybe easier to time. I don't know, but mm-hmm. 
Life is short. Eat dessert first. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to join you? Yeah. Uh, can you try? Yeah. Life is short. Eat dessert eat first. Eat dessert first. <laughs> we gotta work on that. We gotta work on the rhythm, but uh, it's a good. It's a really good send off. Yeah. So yeah. we're keeping it. We're, we're we're keeping it. Okay. Sold. Bingo. B i n g o. All right. Well, I would if I had a drink in my hand, I would toast you right now on a job well done. So. Perfect. Uh, well, that was send off show. It was cool. And yeah, life is short. You deserve first. 